we have some incredible pieces today. Oops, I just knocked one down because they're big and clunky and beautiful and gravity cannot hold them back. We'll see you in a minute. Oh my goodness. We're having issues. <laughs> <laughs> the art of balancing jewelry on tiny rocks. I'm not gonna let it get the best of me. There we go. Hey everybody, it's Anji here. It's Friday, it's our power piece show. Uh, Shep is not with us today. He's off doing boss things and uh, making the wheels turn of this important business we call Tea Skies here in Albuquerque, New Mexico. So I am going to be showing you all this beautiful stuff myself. I get to have all the fun today and I cannot wait. There are some really cool bracelets and some incredible pendants. As we were setting these up, we uh, realized we needed to bring some beads down here so that we could show you some of these things in action. You don't want to miss this show. It's 16, no, 17, including the squash blast that I'm wearing, 17 pieces. So it's going to be kind of a bigger show, and we're going to take our time, really look at everything, appreciate it. And as always, it's all 20% off now and for the next 24 hours. The prices you might see on them are the gallery prices from our showroom upstairs, but we like to take 20% off as our way of saying thank you for spending your afternoon with us here on Facebook and on YouTube. Please be sure to like us, tag us, tag your friends, share our videos with your friends, with your family members, um, and subscribe. If you're on YouTube and you like what you see, please subscribe. Also invite your friends to the Inner Circle. That's a private Facebook group that we have where we show um, little sneak peeks of what's gonna be in the show, where you can connect with some of the artists, other jewelry lovers. But most importantly, that is the place where we now post the pieces of jewelry that are left after the show ends, after we stop going live. So you can hop on there and see what's left after the show. And then that is the place, if you are the first person in the comments there, to type sold on a piece of jewelry that you like, then you can still claim it for that 20% off if you do that 24 hours after the show is ended. So that is where we will be um, collecting the, the names of the folks who want those pieces after the show is over. Um, so don't call us or email us or anything like that. Just go onto Facebook and check out the Inner Circle. If you have any questions about that, please let me know because that's something new that we are doing. So this is our power show, so we have a variety of prices, but we should tell you about our in-house layaway program. That is a program we have to help you guys out on any order that is $250 or more. And you just give us 25% down, and then Miki will send you an invoice for the remaining amounts quarterly for the next four months, yep. or three months. Um, and then you get your jewelry. Uh, we're easy to work with with that. Um, we're, you know, we're a small company here, so we take phone calls and we get to know our customers really well. And then you can also choose Klarna if you want to, and that's a third party that's available to you at checkout. Um, they negotiate your payment plan for you. We have nothing to do with that. They work it all out with you, and we send you your jewelry right away. So you have options. We want everybody to be able to get the jewelry that they love, make it accessible for you. We love spreading this jewelry with the world, and we love spreading the education and the knowledge and the culture that comes with the jewelry. So it's really important to us that we do a good job on these shows and spread it with as many people as possible. All right, guys, what did I forget to talk about? I think you nailed it. Yeah? All right. Who wants I'm to look great. at some jewelry? Well, first of all, I want to show off my new skirt. If you can see it. I got this custom made, and it just came in the mail. I have a matchy one for my daughter. Cool. It's so fun. It's made out of scarves. We call them grandma scarves. That's awesome. It's a ribbon skirt, and it has me feeling very summery and fun. Just had to show you guys. Um, all right, let's hit it. Number one. All right. is one of the pendants I mentioned. Get a load of that overlay. Holy That's moly. So cool. Those swirling yeah, wave designs. Let me get this little block so I can prop it up better for you. I'm gonna grab these pearls over here so I can show you what it looks like in action. Hello Lisa! Hi Full! Hi! Jane, everybody that's watching, I'm seeing your comments up there. I love it when you chime in, talk to me. 
makes this an interactive experience for all of us. So it's a lot more fun that way, I can tell you that. Yep. So that is how it sits there. This is a really big bale. Look yeah, at that. That's so cool. I could wear that as a ring. Boop. Let's see who's the artist on this one. This is the Singer family. They're a Navajo family. This is a piece of Kingman turquoise in here. I like how it's dinted there in the middle. It almost looks like a tooth. A little nugget shape. Yeah, that's gorgeous. So this was handmade by the Singer family. Let's measure it. And I know you're all dying to know what the price is. I will tell you in just a second. This is two and a half inches long. I'm gonna put it on. So this was originally $450. The sale price, that 20% off, brings it down to $360. And remember that that sale is only good for the next 24 hours. Uh oh, I'm gonna have to choose. Squash blossom or pendant? Now I have well. it turned backwards. I'm such a wonderful jewelry model. I'm so good at my job. <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> it's been since yesterday. <laughs> we were done. It's been a while. <laughs> Less than 24 hours ago. <laughs> if it's not every 12 hours, you know. Yeah. <laughs> what am I doing wrong? There we go. Stay. This is when you just sort of wish that it wasn't live television. Mm -hmm. Sweat a little bit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I can't get it on. All right, there it is. That's definitely a statement piece. Pendants, this size, are so fun to wear because they just draw all the attention. Can we do camera three on my neck? Oh, this beautiful jewelry. Oh my god. <laughs> just it's okay, no one saw that. Failing his life <laughs> today. Yeah, we switched cameras just in time. <laughs> they heard it. Clunk, clunk. Just knocking things down. Oh, my little Tachiba necklace is always sneaking in there. There we go. That's so beautiful. So again, this was originally $450 up on our gallery floor. Our sale price for it is $360. That qualifies for layaway. Everything about this piece is super high end. That piece of Kingman is really fine. The overlay work is exquisite. They're true silver artists. What do you think about it? Diego, you are a jeweler. I'm just thinking, trying to think how long it would take to do all that overlay. <laughs> so all of these pieces oh, are hand cut out of one plate of silver and then soldered onto a second piece of silver. Then they shape it to make it a little bit, uh, is that concave? Is that the word I'm looking for? Yes. Someone's asking about the pearls. These pearls are not Navajo pearls. These are our in-house desert pearls that we make. Um, Diego, do you make these too? Uh, I haven't yet. I want to. Oh, okay. Soon. So this is, who does these ones? Devin and... Um, I, be I believe it was Devin's mother who made most of our pearl inventory. Oh, okay. Um, but yeah, so... So these ones are 252. I've got my sticky notes. Yep, I looked it up. These ones are 252. We just pulled them off the floor up there. Is that the sale price? That's the price on our website, so I, I didn't know if we were doing oh, okay. 20% off. So 252 for these beauties right here. Um, I'm going to hang on to them throughout the show. They're for sale, but I'm going to use them for, to show off these pendants. They are sterling silver. They're made right here in this building by some of the people you know if you watch this show a lot. It's always kind of cool to have jewelry by people you know. So much energy and love goes into a piece of jewelry. Not to mention just the resources that are involved, the metals that come from the earth, the stones that come from the earth. It's really a living 
art form when you think about it like that. So this is a Singer family overlay piece on sale for $3.60. And it is item number one. I didn't talk about this. If you are new to the show and you see something that you like, what you do is wait until we get to the item number and then you need to be the first person to type in the item number and the word sold. And as long as you are the first person, then you are the winner, winner, chicken dinner. We just need your email address so that we can invoice you. Right, number two, I, eyeballing this one. This is a little dragonfly sand cast bracelet that is so cute. And I think this is green turquoise. It could be. I don't think it's bright enough to be gaspyite. Yeah. Looks like it's a size six, let's see. Size six. Guess it would help if I was in focus. There we are. I love dragonflies. It's getting to be that time of year. I live by the river. We get big, beautiful dragonflies darting around the yard. They're attracted to water, so they're sacred to a lot of indigenous people because water is so much a part of survival traditionally and, well, just in general, being human <laughs> on Earth, <laughs> we all need water. This was 300 The sale price is 240 It's a size 6, and it does have an artist etched back here and also written on this tag. Let's see. Gary Custer. Gary Custer is the artist on this one. That looks like a little pea. This is a sand cast piece. So this design was done in two pieces where the design is carved into sand and molten silver is poured into it and the artist hopes and prays that it gets into all of the crevices to achieve that design otherwise they have to start over. So this is number two. The sale price is 240 Stella's asking the price of the necklace. Is she talking about the pearls? Oh, I think she might. Are yeah. you talking about the squash blossom? This one is item number 17. We can talk about it right now. It's number 17. It was 2200 The sale price is 1760 The artist is Presley Haley. It's a really, really nice silver squash blossom. I think it might be one of the favorites that I've seen because I'm kind of partial to an all silver squash. No, they were talking about the pendant. Oh. Yeah. So the pendant was three. Well, this will just be a tease for earlier. This is number 17. I'll be wearing it. We will come back to it. The pendant. Pendant is on sale for 360. It's overlay and it was created by the Singer family. Navajo silversmiths. It's Kingman turquoise and overlay. And it's item number one. If you scroll up there, you can see that the sale price was $360. All right, speaking of medallions, we've got another one here, number three. This one's also on sale for $360. Also by the Singer family. I love the shell. Yeah, that is, that is really amazing. Cool. I'm going to have to do a close-up on this one. Look at that. It has stripes. It looks like a candy, like an old-fashioned Christmas candy. <laughs> the kind my grandma used to have. It always had swirls and stripes. I guess it's spiny oyster. 
has the orange and the purple. It's kind of somewhere in between stripes of purple and stripes of orange. Wow. It's incredible the way they are able to hand cut out these designs with such precision and then solder them onto another piece of silver. Those tiny lines, getting those to disconnect in just the right way, it's amazing. Oh, lion's paw, someone says. I forget that that's a, a type of shell. Not rhodochrosite, it is... Um, we're hearing that it's lion's paw. I thought it was spiny oyster. I think, is lion paw, lion's paw a form of spiny oyster? It has a big, beautiful bell on it. I love these big bells. And I will show you what it looks like on with the pearls here in just a moment. Lion's paw comes from a scallop. Oh, lion's paw comes from a scallop. Oh, we darn. I love scallops. They're delicious. And apparently also very beautiful. All life is beautiful. Oh, Minky, that's such a sweet <laughs> sentiment. So true. We were, my little one and I were watching baby animal show today, like these little grizzly bears and their little life. <laughs> <laughs> Let's zoom in, shall we? Yes. Did you know that grizzly bears give birth while they're hibernating? And then no. they just wake up and there's babies? Surprise! You know what I learned my whole life up until about last year, I thought that hibernation meant they slept straight for like however long. They're not asleep the whole time. They get up and do stuff. They're just not like... What? Yeah. Really? I mean, they're living animals. They can't just sleep for three months. Oh, oh I just thought that was like the magic of being a bear. Too. I was just like, that's bear I stuff. don't bully. I want to hear what, what the people on the internet have to say. Do they, bears <clears throat> sleep consistently through hibernation or do they wake up and do things, as Miki says? <laughs> they just don't. I, do they go to the shops? Yeah, they have stuff to do. They have errands to run. <laughs> you gotta restock their food. What food? There's like six feet of snow in those places. It's crazy out there. I know because I watched the baby animal show today, so I'm an expert on the subject. So this is number three. It was done by the Singer family, and the sale price on that is three sixty. It was originally four fifty. Getting questions on these these pearls are the hot number today. You guys can easily go to tskies.com and see the full selection of pearls that we have available. Maybe this is 20, inch. twenty inches, but the extender chain can make it twenty two. I don't know what the name is. Do you happen to know which one these um, are? The princess is the 20 inches. The princess. Princess. I don't know how I feel about that title. And they're the seven millimeters. Seven mil, Here, you wanna type that in maybe for them? Diego's gonna oh, type, in gonna type in for the, the information on the, <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're all off in bear country. <laughs> all right. So number three was this beautiful lion's paw pendant on sale for three sixty. Where's my number four? Ooh, who's ready for a little bit of earring action? These teardrop shape earrings are my favorite because they always just look really flattering. So I don't know what the what the um, trick is. I'm sure there's a scientific explanation, but teardrop earrings are slimming to the face. Don't know why, it just is a thing. These were made by Henry Ataki. They are overlay, deep overlay too. It's a bit of a shadow box effect here along the sides. So again, all of this was cut out of one piece of silver and soldered onto another to create that effect. And then the inside there is oxidized to create the black contrast. And these are number four. And number four were originally 225, but the sale price brings them to 180. They are sterling silver, and this looks like Sleeping Beauty turquoise to me. And we all know 
how rare and beloved Sleeping Beauty Turquoise is. It's no longer mined, so it is one of those hard to find beloved stones in the turquoise world. I'll go ahead and try these on so you can see how pretty they hang. Let's talk about bears while we wait. <laughs> so I looked it up. It says hibernation is an extended form of torpor, a state where your metabolism is depressed to less than 5% of normal. So these bears just get to a point when their body doesn't need food or water or to even go to the bathroom because they're only <laughs> using so much of it. Apparently my husband, he looked it up as well. They wake about once a week. Thank the you. more you know! Yep. <laughs> Let's zoom in on these earrings, shall we? I'll just do my elevator. I'll just elevator go down. Then? Yeah, I'm just going to elevator it. <laughs> Fridays lately have been goofy days. I don't know what it is. I think we're all just like... We're all ah! tired. We're just finally starting to relax. <laughs> I love teardrop earrings. Let's face it, I love all earrings. I don't discriminate in the earring earrings. department. I have yet to find an earring I didn't love. Oops. I take on the challenge now. Of finding an earring I, I don't love? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Give me 20 minutes on the internet. I can find <laughs> the two of you back there. <laughs> well, like the other day, they're we making me blush. Dice, and we found the spaghetti old dice, and it, oh, they were awful. Spaghetti-o dies? Yep. I lost the little rubber back to that earring. Oh no. I'll find it. Yeah. We will find it. We have extra if we need it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Number four. The sale price on these was 180. They're sterling silver and sleeping beauty turquoise. And again, the artist, the maker of these is Henry Ataki. Atakai. Atakai? A T T A K A I. That might be Hopi. Might be a Hopi name. All right, let's go back to bracelets. Number five. I think I'll measure it out, but I'm gonna guess that this is a six and a half. That's some fun overlay and applique right there. Oh my gosh. It reminds me of a bit of a throwback to those Harvey House bracelets we were looking at. They always seem to have those cute little arrows in them back in the 40s. This is number five. Let's see. We need to put magnifying glass on our shopping list. I think the stamp says UO White. Keeman Turquoise in there. This was $330. The sale price is $264. It has quite a bit of silver on it. Let's get that official measurement. Let's do it. And in the meantime, Mitzi, we were talking about reservation dogs. And it's on Hulu. It's on Hulu. It's exclusive. And it's amazing. It's really, it's really good. I've literally watched the first two episodes four times, and I <laughs> laugh hard every time, and I catch new things to laugh at every time. Mm -hmm. It's six and a quarter. Six and a quarter? You were close. I was pretty close. Just add up two in front of the five of her bed. Six and a quarter. So what we have back here is some deep stamp work. The silver is... What's the word? Annealed? Annealed? Annealed. Annealed, so it's heated up and then stamped to get it really deep like that. That or they have Thor's hammer, one or the other. And then this little cute arrow is cut out and stamped separately and then soldered on so it's a different layer. It's called applique, as with the crescent and this other arrow shape right in here. So there's a lot going on here, a lot of different parts that were had to be created and then fixed onto this bracelet to create this design. Yes, Kim, definitely a lot of detail. That's just what makes it so stunning.
Number 5, 264. Another size six bracelet. This is a sweetheart. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, I like that one. This is a good stacking bracelet. Or with a solid silver one. That'd be really cute. Size six. This one was 200 The sale price is 160 Get you a close-up on the stone here. Don't know the mine of this stone. I'm not going to take a guess on it, but it has that true turquoise sky blue coloring to it that we all love so much. This is thin and delicate, but it's not flimsy by any means. It is a thick piece of silver. Look at that. 160. It can be opened up probably to a six and a half if you needed it to be. has crescent moon stamping along the edge here and then two desert drops on either side of that turquoise. One of them is covered by the little price tag but it's there. Well Tanner, that those stray dogs running around the res tie into the plot a little bit, so you're not completely off. <laughs> Although a reality show about res dogs, like the actual animals, would be pretty entertaining. It would blow my grizzly bear show out of the water. <laughs> Let's talk about an animal that does not hibernate. That is occasionally actually a coyote and not a dog at all. All right, so that's number six, everybody. On sale for 160, size six. There's a lot of sixes going on in this piece. All right, move we'll this one here. That goes there. Number seven, inlay. Ooh. Cool. Look at that. Look at that. Deep groove right there, that's cool. You can add your own chip and lay to that. So we have overlay and inlay happening here. This was uh, created through doing overlay, so they cut out that strip there and then soldered it onto this other piece of silver and then did the channel inlay along the top with turquoise, coral, lapis, orange, spiny maybe a little bit of red spiny or coral in there I love that groove on the edge seeing an overlay theme happening today size six This was a hundred dollars. It's now on sale. Is this right? A hundred dollars? No, I don't think so. No, this was. This was three hundred. I gave you the wrong price, Diego. Oh boy. <clears throat> so two forty. Two forty. Yeah, this was three hundred. It's now on sale for two forty. The price was smudged on the back there. Look how beautiful that is. It looks like the sunrise, doesn't it? I like that. And it has such a clean, beautiful shape to it. Number seven. The camera one. I just want to yep. just let you see this piece in all its glory. This is number eight we're coming up on. This is the bell of the ball today. 
This is a Santo Domingo inlay collar, I guess you would call it. Power collar. Wait until you see it on. It's amazing. It's got coral, jet, white shell, and turquoise in it. That thing is insane. It's beautiful. And it's not as heavy as you would think. It's actually really light. And it has a good weight distribution, so it doesn't feel clunky. Oh, wow. And it comes with a set of earrings. This was $2,000. The sale price is... What did we... Sixteen. $1,600. And I have an artist for you as well. The artist is... Torevia Crespin, T-O-R-E-V-I-A Crespin. The pretty earrings. Let's go to camera three. <laughs> it graduates up to the top and then we have these strands of coral there. The back is a black. And I think Shep said traditionally they would use old vinyl records. Did, does anyone remember hearing this? That's yeah. super cool. I remember hearing that. that. Yeah. That's rad. Old records, and then they would inlay the stones. They cut the stones the size they want for the pattern and then attach them to that black backing. Isn't this amazing? That's really cool. I didn't know that was like a technique. Yeah, I just learned that not too long That's ago from him. Cool. Here's the earring. Upcycling. It is Santo Domingo. The artist is Torevia Crespin. Definitely qualifies for layaway. Yep. The sale price is sixteen hundred. I don't think I have to explain why this took hours and hours of time and talent to achieve. Not to mention how much coral? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's also a lot of coral and a lot of turquoise. So really pretty. You can even kind of wear it back on your neck a little bit if you wanted to. It does remind me of something Egyptian or like from the tribes in the Amazon. They wear these really neat coral, I mean coral, um, collar, collar neck pieces. This, this is so beautiful. So this was number seven? No, eight. Number eight for this beautiful Santo Domingo neck statement neck piece. I'd love to see this go home with somebody who will treasure it. Uh-oh, I think I'm trapped. Do you help? Let's see. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Miki to the rescue. You don't want to have to live in this thing forever. I do actually want to live in this thing forever. <laughs> and it doesn't want to leave my body. You Thank you so much. Number eight. Does anybody have any questions so far? Out there, the interwebs. I can look up more bear facts. If people need. The Crespin family and the Santo Domingo artists that do this inlay work are just masters. I really, really appreciate the craftsmanship. I went to school with a lot of Santo Domingo students for the Santa Fe Indian School. They always had the best jewelry. All right, number nine, we have two of these. They are a pair of uh, turquoise clusters. The artist is LB. These were 300. They are now 240. So we've got A and B. I apologize for these not being in focus. Let me fix that. I love the little coral. Why do I keep saying coral? Cluster. I love the cluster <laughs> design. I'm just thinking about the coral in that last piece. The cluster design because they remind me of sunflowers. These are 
really good quality turquoise in there. They have that sky blue color that we all love so much. Came a little bit the matrix. Yep, just a little bit. It's almost the color of Sleeping Beauty, but it does have a little bit of matrix in them. That's A we got there, and then we got B over here. The color is a little, what is it coming through on your guys' screen? Because it looks a little bright in my monitor. It looks okay. Yeah. Does it? Okay, good. Good deal. Sky blue. The New Mex Take home some New Mexico sky. I will try on a pair for you. LB, the artist. Love them. They're so cute. Love them. I have something similar at home, but they are with a post. I love that these dangle. I don't want to take these ones off. I'm just going to keep them on. Just kidding. Just the one. <laughs> just the one. It's going to be a new trend. <laughs> Hello. Since you're each 240, artist is LB. I don't know what the first name is. Last name is Begay. They are it's a Navajo artist. The cluster work is pretty traditional down here in the Southwest, especially with the Navajo artists. We love our coral clusters. Isn't that right? My audience is growing back there. No pressure. <laughs> no pressure. We're having a Friday party. Last Friday we had a real party. Everybody was popping in last Friday. That was fun. Does anybody have any fun things that they're doing this weekend? Our lovely audience? What are you guys up to this weekend? Is it starting to feel like fall where you live? It's starting to feel like fall here a little bit. Whoa, this is cool. I'm ready for sweater weather. Yeah, sweater weather. I was laughing. I looked up the weather. Uh, it was either yesterday or the day before, and it said like a high of 89. Mm -hmm. And I was like, ooh, sweater weather. <laughs> it's been like 104. <laughs> Whoa, this is so cool. I love the way that they did those triangular diamond shapes. Monster truck show. Rebecca, you are wild. I love it. That sounds fun. I want to go to a monster truck show. Nope. <laughs> I've never been to anything like that. Me neither. I want to go to a demolition derby or a monster truck show. This was three hundred. It's on sale for two. For yeah, two forty. Let's see. Lindbergh. Billa Cody? That's a name. I don't... Billa. E.L. Billa. I don't know what... Aaron Lindbergh Billa, maybe? There's a name on this tag. Watch. Look, this is what I'm trying to read. <laughs> <laughs> but the stamp is E.L. Billa on the back. This is a cast piece, another one of the cast pieces. You can always tell that by the texture. It almost, you know, carries that texture of the sand where they pour the silver in. So you're kind of wearing a bit of earth there. And then of course the turquoise earth stone for sure. Let me measure this one out. Five and a half the one inch opening, so six and a half. This was a hard design to create with all of these fine details here and, and making sure that those didn't break when they popped them out of the mold. Yeah. So this is not the sale price, so just ignore that. 
The sale price is two forty on this one. Six it was a six and a half. So six and a half on sale for two forty. Billa is the artist. I really dig those two diamonds that come together there. That row of turquoise. These buttons here are soldered on top. On either side there. That's a beauty. That is number 10. This corn maiden is so pretty. The artist is Alex Sanchez. Let me show you what it looks like on our handy dandy pearls here. Oh my gosh. I just love these corn maidens that I'm seeing um, since I started here and how they put all of the story inside of the corn maiden robe. She's got on her squash blossom. There's a bear. Speaking of bears. <laughs> Bears, dragonflies, that spiral which represents life. I love her butterfly buns. Oh my gosh. I did a photo shoot of some butterfly buns. Once I should bring those prints in. You know what I should do? We should redecorate the back here with some of my art with some of my photography. I like that. I think I'm gonna have to make that happen. Oh, I'm still over here. Slow turn. <laughs> <laughs> We've got some green turquoise at the bottom of this too. And what I was going to show you, go, come back. It's almost like it's almost like we planned our bear speech. <laughs> it's not focusing. It. Where is it? Where is it? I can kind of see. Oh, the there they bears. are. Little bears, little shush. This is the little cornrows, the little bears. <laughs> I love her. The sale price on this baby is eight eighty. I can measure her out, but you saw how big that she was. And then I'll do some close-ups to just show you how much more detail there actually is in it once you get it up close. She's three inches. Look at this face. This is not a piece of jewelry, this is a sculpture. Yeah, it's so rad. That face, all of her eyes and her mouth were all cut out. It's hollow in there. It's hollow behind the eyes and in the mouth. It's it's almost like half a bead. Her hair was hand cut, and then all the stamping to create the bangs. That squash blossom. That's overlay, right? Yes, and then that's the spiral crazy. on her cheek <laughs> is an overlay. But that is that. Well, I mean, that's soldered on top. This spiral, but this design here is cut out, like you do with overlay. These, all her little squash blossom was hand cut and then soldered on. There's a lot of work in All the details. And then this back looks like it was sand cast because it has that rough sand cast texture. And then on the back, it's stamped with our little bears. I mean, this is, and, and to do it at such a small scale, you know? <clears throat> That's yeah. crazy. It, I mean, I feel like she should be like a three foot statue. Just dealing with all those tiny little pieces, I'd go crazy. Alex Sanchez is the artist. Alex Sanchez. She qualifies for layaway. I feel like she's singing. I almost, I feel like it's late summer. You have the dragonflies, the bears are just eating themselves silly, getting ready for hibernation. The winds are kind of breezing around. Maybe it's because that's what season it is right now, but I feel like she's breathing in the fall, cooler days with her. the harvest, the corn harvest.
Look at all those bears not sleeping for three months straight. <laughs> <laughs> we learned something today on the Tea Sky Jewelry Show. We learned that bears go grocery shopping. <laughs> Cheaters. <laughs> this was number 11. Sold on the way. All right. Yes, Barbara. Congratulations. Oh, I'm so happy she found a home. She is stunning. Miki, you want to come grab her? Yep. That was 11, right? So we're on to 12 now. Yep. Ooh, this is fun. This almost looks like a little arrowhead. It has a water web quality to it, and that piece of turquoise there, triangular shaped. Let's get closer. Some interesting stamping going on the sides here. Don't I I don't know how it was done. It almost looks like a spine. Do you see that? Diego, do you know what's going on here? No, that's that's quite a bit on there. <laughs> yeah, is it is it all stamped or do you think one of the top was stamped and then soldered on? Yeah, it looks like it was uh-huh. Actually, I think it's triangle wire. That's what I was going to say. Oh, wow. And it was stamped on two sides, and then on one of the points it was stamped to smash it down. Oh, yeah. That's what it looks so like. So stamped me. here, and then stamped there, and then stamped here to yeah. keep it from being pointy? Yeah. I'll be darn. Either that, it was just like a really high bump half round. It almost feels like the top design is melting into the rest of it. That triangle is so neat. Oh my god. Okay. This was 500. The sale price is 400. And the artist is. VB. Do we know who VB is? No clue. I'm pretty sure this is a size six and a half, but let me double check. Five. Six and a quarter. Ooh, it was close. Think of dinosaurs when I look at this because this almost feels like a egg like a dinosaur egg or scales or something <laughs> and then these reminds me of like a tail the stamps on the side almost remind me of the aliens from alien yeah it has an interesting <laughs> vibe I like it So that's 12. Clean up my little mess over here. Put 17 over here. 13, another cast piece. Oh my God, this one's beautiful. If someone doesn't fall in love with this, I just don't know what. Look at all of that. That's oh. It's like the butterfly garden or something. Those are like the moons, and then we have our little blossoms everywhere, and then it's shaped like a butterfly. It's a gorgeous nugget there in the center. It looks like it could be Kingman. It's really small though, so let's see. It might be a children's bracelet or, or, for, or yeah, for someone very <laughs> petite. Four and a half, five and a half. It's a five and a half. Yeah, I think that would fit Olivia. If it's me, look at that, oh my god! <laughs> oh, it's calling my name. The 
This is number 13. It was 200 and it's on sale for 160. That is such a good deal. That yearly is a good deal. Yeah. It's a, I mean, especially because it's a cast piece, so is it cast or am I It's it's casted with some overlay. Yeah, and then polished. Yeah. To get rid of that grittiness. And then these are overlaid on top of it, these flowers. Well, it also depends on what type of cast it is, too. So. Ah, uh, okay. I if see. If you do like a wax casting, it's going to be a lot more smoother than, um, than like a tuber cast or a sand cast. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. Just love this bit right here. was made for me, Kim. <laughs> Diane was wondering if you could explain the different casts. Diego? Oh. Um, really, it just kind of depends on the material you have. Um, 13 sold. 13, 13 sold? Yep. Of course, to sold. Lacey and I always fall in love with the same pieces. She's got good taste. All our ladies have good taste if they shop with us. Exactly. Congratulations, <laughs> Lacey. So the different materials, we've got tufa. Tufa, there's sand casting. Sand cast. You can do cuttlefish casting. Cuttlefish. That sounds crazy That's to me. That's actually one that I've done before. And it's actually pretty cool. Wait, what, an actual cuttlefish? Yeah, uh -huh. you take cuttlefish bone. You oh, cut it. Oh, okay. You carve it yeah, out. Yeah. And then um, you pour your melted metal into it after you tie it together. For a second, I was like, don't tell me you do this with a live animal. Oh my <laughs> gosh, no. no. We're going to have a problem with you. <laughs> <laughs> the dark side of jewelry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to do that here. <laughs> you no, know that room here, that we never open? Wax <laughs> casting, so it's just wax injections or handmade wax stuff. Oh, sorry, S explain the, wa the wax again. The wax casting, so basically um, we have like a machine that injects wax into a mold. Mm -hmm. And so it'll come out perfectly smooth, maybe a little like, um, what is it called? Like, we have to sand the edges and stuff? Yeah, sometimes you have to sand the edges after casting because it's like a little rough, it's like, um, there's like a seam line. Mm. Yeah, that's an interesting process. I know Mark was wax done cast. casting and um, he's also done the cuttlefish casting. It was all part of, the cuttlefish casting was part of the CNN program. Oh, okay. Yeah. Look how beautiful that is. I have to get my tape measure out of the way. You can also be like me and cheat and use a um, use a laser engraver to cut out some pieces <laughs> out of acrylic and cast that. I guess you could pretty much make a cast out of anything that'll hold hot silver, right? Yeah. Well, um, really, what it is is that you put in like um, you can take objects as long as they can melt out of a vestment. Uh huh. Um, you can put them into a plaster um, mixture that we call investment, and um, you just melt it right out at high temperature. Oh. And then you can pour it in, pour in your metal when it's ready. Someone oh. actually um, casted a cactus at CNM. Whoa! And we had just got a new machine, so each individual needle came out with it too. It was very pointy, and we should have been prepared for figuring that out. About <laughs> oh wow, that's cool! I love crazy art school projects. Okay, number fourteen is another cast. Speaking of casts, it's another cast piece. <laughs> this is also a really good price. Look at all of this incredible detail. Uh, Harrison Bitsui is the artist. That's Navajo name. She's a little flirty. I know. I just love the swirls and the f organic patterns of this one. It's very aquatic. Yeah, this is definitely like if Titan was Dene. It's a size. Five and a half or six, I'll measure it. It's pretty small. Whoops, five is three quarters. Fits me real snug. Fourteen was three hundred. It's on sale for two forty. Look at that beautiful matrix in the turquoise. I love that webby design. It reminds me of plaster in an old city. Five. 
Yep, five and three quarters. You called it. <laughs> you totally called it. Sold to Cora. Cora Rose, you got a good one. Sold. Make sure I make a note of layaway. layaway. Congratulations. Let's give him the drum. Let's give him the drum. Normally we wouldn't do layer on that because it's not an, it's not too good. Yeah. But I'll do it because I'm a nice guy. Right. Anyway. Yeah, it's court. Ten shy. It's ten bucks shy, so we'll yeah, still so honor layaway on that one. See how cool we are? We're easy going here at T Skies. That's because you have your customer service fellow right there, so mm -hmm. he can make those calls. Yeah. Fifteen. Who's ready for some Royston and ribbon? Oh boy. Let's see this. Nella Johnson is the artist on this one. Oh my God. Royston ribbon is just breathtaking, is it not? Hello, this. It Every just looks like Nevada. Nevada. Amazing. Yeah, it looks like you're flying over. Yeah, like you're flying over the Grand Canyon. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, it is incredible. Mm -hmm. We have a bit of applique happening down here. We have a nice, good size bezel here at the top. Some stamping and then bead around the edges. This was four twenty five. The sale price is three forty. Where's it? Is so cool. It has so much character and comes in such a wide variety of patterns and coloring. I really love like the really dark green voice in that they have. Mm -hmm. Go to camera one. It's so got a nice big presence. It's probably two inches. I will measure it. Well, these were the perfect beads you picked out, Minky. They look great with all of these pendants. And they work with all of them, too. Yeah. Go to tskies.com. Get yourself <laughs> your essential pendant carrier. I'll just insert our little, this is what we use for the show. Let's go to camera whatever this is, two, I think. <laughs> yeah. We're selling these pearls since we brought them on the show, Diane, but these are some of the T-Sky's core collection. So these are what our artists here in-house, um, some of the things that they make. Our Devin and Diego and Marco and Olivia are in-house artists, and they're available through our website. So you can, they're not um, one of a kind. You can order them, get some for your friends tskies.com. And I think you're going to put in the info for that? Did you just say that or no? Yeah, I just put in the info for what type of necklaces. Oh, perfect. Yes. Yeah. So if you look there in the comments, you can learn a little bit more about this strand. Yeah, if you buy a pendant, if you leave a note for us saying that you want to add one of these necklaces to your order, we can. Yep. Oh, that's good to know. Yeah. That way you don't have to make two separate purchases and pay double in shipping. Oh, perfect. Yeah, we should have said that in the beginning. So if you do get a pendant today and you want a strand of pearls, just make a note of it and we'll add that to your order for you so you don't have to mess around with any other channels. I'm in love with this pendant. Mm -hmm. really am. So from the top of the bezel to the tip here, it was three inches. Let's go in for a nice close-up. It almost looks like a mosaic. Like it almost <laughs> looks like it's an inlay piece. Mm -hmm. Just how all of those colors come together and the patterns that they make. So this is 15. And I think this is some raw Royston if you're curious what it looks like before it goes through all the processes of becoming jewelry. All right, 16. We're almost there. This is also Royston, I know, because it has a note on the back. See how different <laughs> it is from the from the last one? 
It's just That's amazing to me. The shop today. They were just like, what stone is this? I was like, oh, it says it's Kingman. Soap. Olivia's mama makes soap. I'm not really sure what. We have like two bars left in the shop, I think. <laughs> I think that we're we're only selling those with uh, someone that's ordering something else, Miki. What's that? Yeah. We uh, we only sell the soap if it's already a, an order. Like we don't just send the soap by itself. Yes, this is number 16. We have stamping here on the sides and then the applique leading us into this beautiful green and blue Royston stone, turquoise stone. The way the green is on that stone, it almost looks like it's leaking out of the matrix. Yeah. <laughs> it's so cool. The matrix. <laughs> <laughs> This one was four ninety five. The sale price is three ninety six. And the size on it? Um, I think it's a six and a half. Let's see, or maybe a seven. Yeah, six and a half. Let's check it out though. I'm trying to get good at guessing. Five and a half with. Yep, six and a half. One inch opening. Six and a half. Um, we did a post, Robin. We did a post in the inner circle with the shirts and all of the available sizes that we have. I don't know. Did we sell a lot of those? Do you guys know? I think we, we sold are, a lot of the yellow. Yellow is fully stocked in each um color or in each color, each size. size. Blue, however, <clears throat> we only have I think like small, like a couple of smalls and a couple of two XLs. Okay. But what do they need to do? Just go to that post in yeah, the inner circle? Yeah, just go into the post in the inner circle and comment on it. I've been kind of monitoring it and sending out invoices as they come in. Was that last week or the week before? That was like two or three weeks ago. It was two weeks ago, <clears throat> Robin. You just have to scroll back in the inner circle and... Um... I'll see if I can find it and like share it. So okay. It share it back into the Oh, okay. Yeah, just Great. bring it back up. <clears throat> so 396, we have the applique, we have stamp work, we've got Royston. It's a size six and a half and it's lovely. I love the little croissants here on the side. All right, now for 17, our beautiful squash blossom that I immediately fell in love with. You know me and my squash blossoms. This is everything I want in a squash blossom. I love the length of it. 16 sold. Oh, fabulous. I love the length of the squash blossom. I love the, the size of the beads, the nuggets. I love that it's all silver. I love that it's a matte finish. It's everything. I have a similar one at home, but um, this one I like better. <laughs> Congratulations, Shirley. Let's go to camera. Thank you. Oh, listen, there we go. It's just so beautiful in its simplicity. Oh. And you can just really appreciate that iconic nausea design. That's so cool. Look how big these beads are. <laughs> They're about half an inch. Thin mint size. Junior <laughs> mint size. Junior mint yeah, size. Junior mint. See how many blossoms do we have? We have eight blo one, two, ten blossoms. Just a ton of silver in this. I mean, obviously, because it's all silver, but I mean, it's it's got the weight. But it's not an overbearing amount of weight. It's not going to be uncomfortable. You may not want to wear it all day, but you can definitely wear it a while. And I love how the blossoms just swivel around. They're not, they don't, they don't make the whole necklace twist. Because with a lot of squash blossoms, the blossoms are attached in such a way that 
They want a twist, but when they do, they'll take the beads with them, and these are free-flowing. So that's a nice touch. It was $2,200. The sale price is $1,760. Definitely a layaway candidate if you fall in love with it. It speaks to me. Um, I think typically four is a sacred number, Cora, because of the directions, seasons, that sort of thing. Um, often you see 12 blossoms in squash blossoms. I don't know that, I'm, I'm sure that there is a reason behind it, but I don't really know what that reasoning is. <clears throat> but it's not something that you have, you, you don't have to have a certain number of blossoms on a squash blossom necklace. How much weight can the 70s spend? I don't know, probably quite a bit. All right, let's go back over here. Yes, full is uh, commenting on just the cleanness of this. Everything is polished and smooth. It's just yummy. No rough edges. This is a, got the triangle point there at the top, so it sort of sits up. It has all that great dimension to it. Creates a little bit of contrast around here, so the design really pops when you wear it. Nice high polish here in the center of the beads. A little bit darker on the edges, again, creating that gorgeous contrast with the silver. I think that's what gets me excited about silver work when I see that contrast between the high polish and the matte. Love the squash blossom. <laughs> All right, let's go to camera one. Yeah, Sharon's asking how much weight the these pearls can hold. Um, they held these big pendants just fine. I'm not sure how much weight you're planning on holding with it. Kind of hard to test. Yeah, <laughs> it's. I mean, I mean they're all the big pendants on them. They're well made. It's strung on a wire, it's the same as any other necklace would be. So, I imagine it would hold as much as any other. So speaking of, number one, we're just gonna do our lightning round. If somebody wants to see something, actually I'm gonna give you that opportunity right now. If somebody wants me to go back and pull a certain item that we can talk about out of order, um, let me know now because we're gonna go back through everything quickly. But if you don't wanna wait, can number seven and number 10 bracelets adjust to size seven? Let's find out. Number seven. Yeah, probably not right. This one, no, because the hat, yeah, right, it has the stones in it. They'll pop, or mm -hmm. they could pop out. Tin, maybe. Do you want to take a look at it? It would have a really huge gap, I think, because that was, what, six and a quarter? Um, the, it, the gap is already one and a quarter. Five and a half. It's five and a half with a one. Recorder. Well, no, it's actually just a one, a one inch gap. So it's six and a half. Could it be sized out half an inch? What do you think? Maybe. I mean, it could, but it would have. <clears throat> that gap would get pretty big. Yeah. It would have. That it would have an inch and a half. Okay, so Pat, yes, it could, but it would have an inch and a half gap on the back and would have to, you wouldn't want it to fall off, you know? Yeah. So if you kind of knew how wide your wrist is from here to here, it'll help you decide if an inch and a half, if it's just going to be way too big and just flop off. Does that make sense? I know, full. And I was thinking it looks so perfect with my outfit today. I've got on my Navajo scarves. Love it. I just want to borrow it. Never give it back. <laughs> All right. So number one. On sale for 360 
It's an overlay pendant by the Singer family with a nice nugget of Kingman turquoise there in the center. Large bail to go in whatever you want. Stylized. I love that style myself. And this is number one. <laughs> Well, that's what happens in living rooms. Cycles are gonna happen. Number two, size six sandcast dragonfly bracelet on sale for two forty. Number three is another pendant by the Singer family. It has shell in the center on this one. Beautiful classic overlay style. And a really cool shell. Lion's paw. Did we put the price up on that one? Yes. yes. We did. Okay, number four. Teardrop, turquoise teardrop earrings. Also overlay. These ones were done by Henry Atakai. Sale price for these is 180. It's a lot of overlay detailing going on in these ones. Also super deep right there along the edges, creating almost a shadow box effect. This one's a good deal, and this is Sleeping Beauty Turquoise there in the centers. Number five, on sale for 264. This was, I believe, a six and a half. Do you guys remember? No. Should have made notes. Let's, let's double we'll check. Do that next time. Yes, we will. Two sixty-four. Six and a quarter. Six and a quarter, but it feels like a six and a half for some reason. Applique and overlay. I mean, I'm sorry, applique and stamp work. Number five, 264 on that one. Six sold, no sixes here. Size six. Thin, delicate, beautiful. A little pop of turquoise there. It has stamping along the edges. This one's on sale for 160. One sixty on this one. Seven is our inlay. This was also a size six. It has a little bit of overlay shadow box there at the edge. Very deep. Lapis, coral, shell. Number seven's on sale for two forty. Then we have number eight, the power piece inlay set, Santo Domingo inlay set. This is a masterpiece right here absolute masterpiece. 
Number eight. It was two thousand. The sale price is sixteen hundred. Qualifies for layaway, of course. It's a stunner. I would wear this with a turtleneck, maybe, or like a low, like a peasant top, like I'm wearing now. But if I were going to the Indian Market Fashion Show this weekend, I think I would borrow this to wear. This would be my piece. I'd have to borrow it, of course. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's really incredible. I think what I love about it, too, is that each of these squares, the way they just, like, sort of fit together and it's almost geometric in, yeah, its, in of itself. Really cool. <clears throat> I didn't show you guys the back earlier. We're going to have a party guy with you. <laughs> Kevin Costner. Kevin Costner. Kevin <laughs> Costner. My bodyguard is named Larry Shivers. <laughs> oh, this is so, look at how it stands up too. It's just it's a piece of art just sitting there. It just stands up like that. You have to really know your materials to create something like this and, and get it to work in every way. I don't feel like you could have a happy accident situation with a piece like this. And happy accents are pretty much <laughs> the only way I create art, <laughs> which is why I'm not a jeweler. I mean, jewelry can be pretty cool with happy accidents. Yeah? Does it I work mean, sometimes? You've seen that, one stack, that one bracelet I made for myself. Yeah. Happy accidents are good. We have two of these in number nine. I'm surprised these are still here. Our beautiful sky blue clusters. This is number nine A and B. These are on sale for $240. There's a, a lot of really high quality turquoise in these, which is why the price is what it is. Sky blue, very few matrix in here. It resembles Sleeping Beauty, but I hesitate to say that it is Sleeping Beauty, but it definitely has that coloring. And they look so pretty on too. I'm just, just one more time. Clusters are my jam. Those are number nine. A and B. Number 10, this beautiful cast diamond shape cuff. Look at that. Loved this one the first time and I love it the second time. This is number 10. The sale price on this is $240. So six and a half. Twelve. This one's real heavy, has a lot of turquoise and a lot of silver in it. It seems um, delicate, but it's really weighty for being small in size and shape. Because it's very thick and then layered. This one was five hundred. The sale price is four hundred. Artist is a VB as the artist. It's like a superhero cuff. Shoot lasers out of it. All right, fifteen. Our Royston ribbon, earthy browns and greens pendant. This was three inches. Fifteen was four twenty five. The sale price is three forty. Why can't I 
get this in focus? He's my cheater. And lastly, we have 17, the squash blossom necklace, going for 1760. I feel like Foles being sarcastic when he says all of our camera work is so good. <laughs> Don't forget to post that. I'm double checking price. Oh, okay. Do we do? Do we mess up the math? No. Okay. You got it right. I was cool. just like, for me, it like it just looks odd. So I was like, I, I, I did it twice when I first got there. I was like, that seems like a strange show. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Does anyone need to see anything before we say good night? Any? Questions, comments, concerns, we're here for you. Tomorrow we have Eddie Secatero as our guest artist, so it will be all designs by him, oh and he will be here. And you know how much fun we have when Eddie's here, so please be sure to join. It'll be at 3.30 p.m., and I will be hosting him and helping him out, so be good to us and show up. Buy lots of jewelry, help support him and his family and um, invite all your friends. Thelma Thrift, the maker of the Squash Blossom? Maker of the Squash Blossom was Presley Haley. Presley Haley. That's a cool name, huh? Mm -hmm. Presley Haley. Do we need to Google Presley Haley? Give Thelma a second. This is a great piece, Thelma. If you buy it, I'm going to be sad because I want it, but I can't afford it. <laughs> I don't want to be sad. <laughs> sold or not sold, uh, it makes no difference. I know, I'll be sad either way because I can't have it. <laughs> the little tips here on these, um, these peony button desert drops, they have like a little point on them too, which is kind of cool. I didn't show that. I should have. Yes, Thelma. This is all Native made jewelry today. Native American jewelry, all of it handcrafted here in the Southwest. We are located in Albuquerque, New Mexico. So the heart of the state, right along the Rio Grande, between the pueblos of Isleta and Sandia. Yep. I'm gonna give her a second, because <laughs> I think she might be interested in the squash lesson before I say goodnight. Um, Thelma, we have a Facebook group. Oh. oh, I was gonna. Well, I'm still gonna invite you to the state Facebook group. Thank you. I'm so excited that you're taking this. I'm a little jealous, a lot of jealous. But uh, please join our Facebook group, uh, the Inner Circle. Um, we will be posting all of the jewelry that's left there, and that's where you can claim it. Just be the first person to say sold on the item number. The 20% off discount lasts for 24 hours. And that's also where we give sneak peeks of what is going to be in our next shows. Um, not for our artist shows, but... No, sometimes. It depends on the post, artist. Post the phone... Oh, the phone number. Yes. Can you put the phone number in there for Thelma? Congratulations, uh, Thelma. Martin Archie put the phone number out of it. Okay. Thelma, we need your email address to invoice you. Uh, let's see. Um, and the phone number is 505-862-9443. That's here local. Um, and I will tell you, Thelma, that I'm uh, I'm not 100% sure because I'm not totally familiar with this artist, but I think uh, it's a Navajo artist. But I'm sure if you Google it, look it up, or we can do that for you. In fact, I think Mickey's on it right now. Oh, yeah, I can. Presley Haley. That sounds like a Navajo name to me. How do you spell Haley? H-A-L-E-Y. I guess I should take it off now belongs to someone else. I hope it brings you lots of love and light. P-R-E-S-L-E-Y-H-A-L-E-Y. -E -E I think Hopi? 
Hopey. Let's see. I'm finding out about the artist for you, Thelma. That's the first thing when I Googled the name. Hmm. Navajo. Oh, cool. Yeah, Navajo artist. So I guessed correctly. <laughs> All right, I hope everyone has a beautiful night. We'll see you here tomorrow at 3.30 so you guys can show love to Mr. Eddie Secatero.